You know what I should be doing. Come on, records the time that each each uh, pass uh, was yeah. in that book yeah. and uh, and then he also records the duty time that the shocker was on huh? yeah amount of seconds yep so you can calculate an effort and then do an abundance off that yep. huh? what's that they're backed up yeah they're backed up The reason they use uh, black buckets yeah. is because if they in like white buckets they'll pale out and then if you put them back in the stream they can use pale fish. Oh sure. Yeah. That makes sense. But it makes it more hard to see what's yeah, basically just assume it's a brookie. Sixty five. Three point one. This is all little? Yeah. So you're picking up that little tissue sample. Is that a fin you're snipping off? Yeah. Yeah, okay. 48, 0 0.9. And what happens to that tissue sample? That goes for genetic analysis. But I mean, it's in a little paper envelope. So yep. Do you freeze those It'll or dry, dry them out? Just yeah. dry them out? Okay. For years, they were putting them in alcohol. Yeah. Which works fine unless the alcohol dries up. Oh yeah. Like if you don't have a good seal. 1.2. lost a bunch of samples that way. Yeah. And it turns out drying them is... Works just fine. Yeah. Yeah, because the alcohol would evaporate and leave water. And then all the right. DNA would start to sure. Down. 55. 1.8. How many fish can you process out here in a day of work? Ranges a lot. Oh, of course. What's there? But I mean... Hundreds of hundreds. Hundreds? Yeah. I mean, it seems like you got a pretty slick little system going here. <laughs> I think the most we ever do is about 600. 600? Wow. So how do you know when you've stunned a fish, do you see their white belly or yeah, something?
This is a sort of the, the modal size for as big as they get. Yeah. And yeah, so these are the two co-occurring species that are most abundant in this system. Brown so trout here. What's the maximum size? Uh, well, I mean, brown trout over their whole range. I mean, there are brown trout that live in like lakes in Scotland that get like this. Oh, sure. Okay. Get salmon size. Here, the maximum, the biggest fish we've seen is probably about this big. Yeah. Okay. You know? And uh, then the other. So this is a brook trout, that's a female. Oh, yeah. oh no, that's a, that, yep, that's a brook trout, that's a female. Decent sized mouth on a fish that size. Yep. Okay. I feel bad for him, let's put him back. Yep. Do you know what's in this box? So yes, this is uh, where the batteries that run this antenna. Oh, that's the antenna. To. So that's the antenna, and we've got one on the downstream end of this road crossing. And road, road crossings make nice uh, places to put them because they're constricted across the right. And so fish pretty much have to swim by them. So when the fish swim underneath this antenna, it records what that individual and then... Yes, it records their number. 
And wow. so then uh, when you down, so this this box has uh, a couple of things. It's got a it's got batteries, but it's also got a uh, data recorder. It's got a laptop. Yeah, yeah. And so it logs uh, every time the fish has gone by.